there, welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug, and I've just received this new Majon Moonman 1.1 stub nib for the Majon Moonman P136 piston filler. You know, one of the things that many people have complained about regarding Chinese made fountain pens is the lack of nib sizes other than extra fine and fine. Well, it seems many of these companies, especially Majon Moonman, are listening to their Western customers because the P136 now has a terrific range of nibs available. I bought this 1.1 stub at the Etsy Easy Buy store, that's Sally's store, uh, for around 10 bucks. And you can get nib unit replacements in EF, F, M, and what they call flat, but is actually a 1.1 stub. Let's open this up. So here's the nib, and you can see the, the ad says it's a flat nib, but it actually says 1.1 right there. So now that my stub nib has arrived, I thought I'd film doing a nib swap and see how the stub writes. So let's swap. It really helps to have this Majon Moonman wrench for the P136, and you can get this on uh, Etsy as well at Sally's Easy Buy. If you have a Montblanc, they work on that as well. I don't, so I don't care. This should only take a few seconds. So we just place the, the little tabs there in the little slots for the nib unit. And then I like to hold down the wrench and turn the pen rather than trying to turn the wrench. Seems to put less pressure on that plastic. And once it gets a little bit loose, give it a turn by holding on to it just like that and the nib unit comes out so there's the original nib unit you can see it's an F I have been using this Kaigalu long blade or long knife nib in this pen you just pull the nib and feed out and take the nib off put the new nib on most number six size standard steel nibs will work here and slide the new nib in. It's just that quick and easy. When you're doing the whole unit, it's even easier. Just slide the new unit in, give it a twist until it's hand tight, put your wrench back in those slots, and turn the barrel until it stops. There we go. Now all we have to do is add some ink and do a writing sample. So this is the Majon slash Moonman P136 and it now has a 1.1 steel number six size stub and the ink here is J Urbain Shogun. I wanted to put a shimmering sheening ink into the pen as a stub can usually display those qualities quite well because of how much ink they lay down. So let's see how much ink it lays down. It's decently wet. And here's a sample of this ink and you can see that it uh, it sheens and shimmers in a copper color and is a nice charcoal black. And above there is Gerbin Stormy Gray, which has a gold shimmer to it. And below is Ferris Wheel Press Roaring Patina Black, which has a red sheen and is a bluish black with a gold shimmer. Very interesting inks. Let's find out what kind of line this stub lays down. There's a horizontal, well, let's put them over here. A horizontal line and do it this way my vertical so i put them horizontally like that so i can check their width on my richard bender line width chart you can find this linked in the description as well this pdf and you can print it out for yourself so it looks like the horizontal is 0.3 and the vertical line is 0.8 horizontal line is 0.3 millimeters and the vertical line 
is 0 0.8 millimeters. And any line variation you get without any pressure, you push on it a little bit, it separates a little bit, doesn't get that much wider. So that's very smooth, almost no feedback at all. So that horizontal thin line and that vertical thick line is a characteristic of a stub. It's just the opposite of the long blade, long knife architect, which gives you thin vertical and a thick horizontal. The feed seems to be keeping up fairly nicely. So, 10 bucks, an upgrade to a 1.1 stub. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and that's all she wrote. I made this.